Hey, Yora, and welcome to Living Life as Easy As with Happiness. <laughs> well, hi, as easy as is. I am so grateful for you joining me this week. It's lovely to have you here. Oh, and here's Wombo as well. He's here for the journey too. So, I'm in this absolutely gorgeous tranquil park here in Taranaki, just recharging the batteries, taking in the scenery, breathing in some beautiful fresh air, listening to the birds. It's just so recharging and energizing. I absolutely love doing this. So when I have moments, I do take myself away and just recharge. But while I was here, I thought I'd flick you guys out a video for this week because it's just such a gorgeous, idyllic place to come from. So today I just want to share with you um, my thoughts on happiness. So a few people have said to me, Nessie, how can you be happy all the time? Like it's just ridiculous, you know, it's not realistic. You can't surely be that happy all the time. So I think I've practiced it now for, you know, quite a few years to, or two years to be um, more happy than anything else that it is it's like well why can't i thought about that question i'm like well, why can't i be happy you know nearly all of the time um there will be situations that bring me great sadness and sorrow there are situations that bring me anger and i believe that they are um, there's room for those um, emotions in my life in fact i wouldn't be normal if i didn't have them but yeah a good 98 percent of the time i generally am happy and because I've got to my, a place in my life where I'm really happy and I'm settled and I'm calm and um, I'm healthy, that when things come my way, well, I don't sweat the small stuff anymore. So that's a lot of angst out of my life. Like seriously, I've just let all that angst go and all the crap around me and all the negativity and the unnecessariness. I've let all that go. So that really helps with my happiness. But yes, there are times of sorrow and anger that um, are definitely needed. Um, you need to um, grieve in certain circumstances and you need to express anger because anger is what gets you out of situations and it propels you forward and moves you to a better place. So definitely, um, I am not happy 100% of the time, um, but it, I have far more success and I'm in a way better place for being more happy than anything else so um, you know there's definitely room for grief well my family certainly suffered grief in our years um, one which I'll share with you was when my brother passed away at the age of just 22 absolutely tragic he woke up one morning he didn't feel very well and um, within half an hour of that he had passed away and it literally just tore our family to bits it was so devastating um, I suffered great stress after that um, to the fact where I couldn't breathe correctly which was causing me all insurmountable amount of health issues and um, yeah just other family members completely falling apart and um, I know categorically without a doubt that my little brother would be devastated um, by grieving members of the family that haven't been able to put it to rest and move on. And I'm not saying that I don't miss my little brother. God, I miss him immensely, immensely. Um, he's been passed for over 10 years now, and it wasn't that long ago that I pulled out of a supermarket and looked up and saw a big, bright, shining star, and tears just flowed they just flowed phenomenally I you know I miss him like crazy I miss what I think he may have turned into the fine young man married with children um, and I just miss the joys that we had but I think it's more of a tragedy when we lose somebody to stay in that grief and not find a way of moving on it doesn't mean we're being disrespectful to them. It doesn't mean that um, we don't care or we weren't hurt by the situation. We were immensely hurt and a lot of pain. 
but I just it does nobody any good. But I've watched people that have been stuck in that grief, that state of grief, and not been able to move on. And to me, that is just even more of a tragedy. So tragic to see that it absolutely breaks my heart. And I just would like people to know that it's okay to be happy if you've lost somebody. They would want you to be happy. 99% of the people up there would want us to be happy. Not to grieve. Not to use it as an excuse not to move on. Not to use it as an excuse as to why we're not succeeding in life. Um, so, yeah. Look, I do believe that there's room for grief and sadness, but there does come a time when we need to let that go and move on and not waste any more of our life like they would want us to. So happiness is the best alternative. It really, really is. It's just so much more better than living a life of misery. And, um, you know, I'm just so pleased. I am so grateful that I saw the seeds to get out of my own self-pity and to get out of my own misery and to start living this as easy as life. It is just so much better. Um, there's so much more out there for you and life is just made for enjoying and um, I really want to encourage people. I just want to encourage people to get out and enjoy it and I'm giving you the okay, like it's okay, especially if you are suffering from grief, to be, um, to find happiness. I think it's really, um, we put it upon ourselves to stay in the grief a lot longer than we need to because of the people around us and what we think their expectations of how we should be behaving. And um, I think that's nonsense. I think that they too must be hurting to see us hurting. So give yourself a break. It's okay. You can and you do deserve happiness. All right? You deserve a lot of happiness and that's what I wish for so many people and it's a good it's a wish I want for so many more people to be happy I see people that are sad and holding themselves back and it just kind of breaks my heart so that's what I'm all about happiness and yes I am 99% happy most of the goddamn time and it's okay <laughs> anyway um, I want you guys to have a great happy week out there and find something to be joyous and grateful for and I will see you next week. But until then, as easy as is, much aroha and uh, go find your happiness. Find your happy space. Find your happy space, what makes you happy. Start from there and move forward.